There are a couple of basic methods to achieve the orange and teal look. One is to alter the colours based on luminance. So we would take the shadows and make them more teal and the highlights and make them more orange. The other is to shift colours. So we'd shift the colours surrounding teal towards teal and the colours surrounding orange towards orange. Both methods are perfectly valid depending on your scene. The first method though would make all of the light objects in your scene orange and all of the darker objects in your scene teal. The second method would make all of the objects which are near to orange in colour more orange, all of the objects in the scene which are near to teal in colour more teal. This one is based on the first type where we're going to use the curves in Affinity Photo to make the lighter colours more orange and the darker colours more teal. Okay, let's get stuck in. While you're here, please take the time to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us to provide future content. So first we select the adjustments icon and select curves from the menu and move the panel out of the way so we can see. Next, select the red channel from here, red, and place an anchor point right in the center. Colors below the anchor point will become more teal and above the anchor point will become more orange. Here we go. So first, let's select a point halfway between the anchor point and the bottom of the curve and drag it down. Already you can see the teal and orange, teal and orange effect taking shape. Now select the point between the anchor point and the top of the curve and drag upwards to create the red component. So now we have the red component at the top in the highlights and the teal component in the shadows. Very nice. Okay, select blue from the drop down menu and again create our pivot point. Now we want to increase the blue in the shadow so we create a point halfway between the bottom of the curve and the pivot point and we drag it upwards. Now we want to create a point halfway between the pivot point and the top of the curve and drag that down. Select the green channel from the drop down menu and place our pivot point. The green channel will be used to control the orange and teal look. It's uh, quite important. Create a point here and now we have our teal control. If we drag the point down the shadows become more blue and if we drag it up the shadows become more teal. I think we will leave it about there. That's very nice. Okay, create a point here and this becomes our yellow and red control. Move it up to create yellow in the highlights and down to make it more red in the highlights. I think we will leave it where it is, which is right in the middle, orange. Select Add Preset so we can save it for use later. OK, let's just type the name of the preset. Orange and Teal and click OK. Great. Now at the moment the effect is a little bit overdone so all we have to do is go to the opacity slider. So select the tiny triangle here and bring down the opacity. So here we go. There's uh, no effect at all. Maximum effect. For this picture I think just around ooh, there. That's it. That suits it very well.
and click the little X to get rid of the dialog. We're actually done. OK. While we're here, let's uh, have a look how to use the preset. So first, we'll click on the Curves Adjustment layer and delete it. So we're back to normal. Now we'll select the Adjustments tab and go down to Curves and select it. Here's the panel and here are our presets. All we need to do is click on orange and teal. Bingo, we have our orange and teal look. We can go in and make alterations if we need to, but for now I think I'll just reduce opacity again to make it look correct. Here we are, about there. Click the X to close the dialog. And there we are, teal and orange using curves in Affinity Photo. This effect can also look really nice on black and white images, like so. So let's um, go to our Adjustments tab, select Curves and Orange and Teal. Look at that, really nice. Maybe I'll just make a couple of adjustments. Let's go to the green, select our control point and make it more blue than teal by moving it down just a slight amount. Select our orange control point, make it more yellow. No, let's bring it down and make it more red. So we have a red and blue scene. And then reduce the opacity as it's a little a little strong, I think. Oh, about oh, quite high actually. There, there, that looks fine. So even on black and white images, the orange and teal can be useful. Mm -hmm.